Could this be my new putter? Let's go find out. Ping PLD putters have already racked up over 20 wins on tour before they even came to market, with the likes of Victor Hovland, Bubba Watson and Jennifer Kupcher putting them in play. And it's easy to see why they're so popular. These are a super high-end premium product. You can see that even down to the deep milled face, there's really high-end detail in here. In fact, it takes over four hours just to do the milling on each one of these putters. Now, if you're wondering what PLD stands for, it's called Putin Lab Design, and it's all about this project where Ping wanted to develop unique ideas and concepts. A lot of it is tour player inspired, and we see that in just how many of these are out on tour. So let's go and see just how well it performs for me. Straight off, I love the way this looks behind the golf ball. Ping have been really smart with the styling of this. We've got all black finish on the head, the shaft and the grip and it looks so smart behind the golf ball. I also think people are gonna really like how simple the top of the club head. This shaping is really nice because it frames the golf ball so you can get the golf ball really centered. You also have this nice top line which gives you a really good visual towards the target. And then we have this really nice sight line as well. So all in all, it's very simple, but also there's lots of different things working towards giving you really good alignment, which is really clever design. Now, I haven't used a milled putter for a long time, so it's going to be interesting to see what the feel is like here. It's definitely going to be different to some of the other ping putters that I've tried with the inserts in. Feels great. Rolls out really nicely as well. Possibly a little higher pitch than some other ping putters, but I think that's quite nice, and it also kind of goes towards that ping name. Very consistent in terms of roll so far. Obviously we've got winter greens here in England, so we're not in summer yet, but we've still got over 80% of the putt that's true roll here versus bobble, which is pretty good at this time of year. So you can definitely feel with this kind of milled face that the ball comes off a little bit softer, which I think would work really well on fast greens. And you can see why these are super popular out on the PGA Tour and the LPGA Tour, which makes total sense. You want control on those faster speed of green. Now, this is a much smaller grip that I would typically use, but I really love the design of it, especially the fact we've got the little pink man on here. I always think that's a really nice detail. But actually, even though it's small and I would use, I do really like the feel of it. Obviously, this type of grip is very popular. You even see that Tiger uses this on his scoffy butter, so definitely something good about it. I mean... <laughs> The distance control is seriously consistent. So this type of fanged putter obviously isn't new to the market, but it's interesting what Ping have done with this. This is quite compact and you don't really realize how small it is until you put it behind the golf ball. But you must remember, these are all inspired from tour players. They've been used multiple times on tour and they've got numerous tour victories already. So that is the reason why we see these smaller shapes in this range. But I actually really like it. I think visually behind the ball, because they're so compact, it kind of narrows in your focus and makes you be more precise, which is obviously what you want with putting. So super consistent for this mid-range putt. Let's go hit a few longer ones and see how it performs there. Now, when it comes to this range, pretty much for all golfers, you're just trying to two putt. So here I'm looking for something that's rolling really consistently and just giving me a nice tap in and making things easy.
it's quite interesting actually because the longer the puts get the kind of higher pitch the noise is which i think is quite nice and it also gives you a different feel on kind of different types of puts definitely seems pretty consistent so far now what i like when you get to this distance is ping have got their own custom shaft in this and it's a little bit sturdier than some of the ones we see in the market and a little bit stiffer which just means you're not going to get any flex in that shaft on those longer puts when you're trying to give it a bit of a hit which just makes it more stable Now it's interesting because this actually comes in a short slant neck, which Ping are saying is really for someone with more of a strong arc, but I'm actually really liking the way this is performing. I feel like it closes the club face up quite well. Sometimes I do have a tendency to leave them a little bit right. So this is kind of counterbalancing that and giving me a really good start line. Now, if we look at the TrackMon data, the roll on these have been excellent. That was up in the 90% in terms of true roll. So only 10% of the putt was getting any sort of skid, which for this length of putt on winter greens really is excellent. Honestly, I'm super impressed with the distance control there. I mean, I've hit five putts, and only really with one of them, I'm going to have to think about lining it up. The rest are all tappings. Pretty solid. So, hurling out, obviously hugely important in terms of your overall scoring. And I think alignment plays a huge part in that. And getting a putter that you can line up well is really key. So, we've got a few short putts laid out here. I'm just going to go around and see how good I am at lining this putter up. Now, what I like about this is the fact that there's kind of numerous different alignment aids and a lot of them are kind of hidden. If the fact that there's just a really strong top line that gives you good visual lines this way to get a good square club face and also the line that I like to match up with the line on the golf ball. Now, again, it's interesting here how on these shorter putts, it sounds a lot more solid off the club face. The sound has gone kind of deeper and a lot less high pitched than we saw in the long putts, which I think is really nice because you really just want that solid contact, that solid feel for those short putts. Strong wind here is definitely making this a little bit more challenging, but it's performing pretty well so far. Obviously, I missed one as soon as I said that. Honestly, I've been super impressed with the performance with this so far. I've had it a while and I've had the chance to take it out on the course and play with it as well. And I've really liked what I've been seeing. And a big thing for me is that typically I'm pretty good at hauling out. My pace point is not bad, but I don't always haul that many in the mid range, kind of your 15 to 20 feet. And with this, I've seen that I've been hauling a lot more in that range, which is really good for me. And it shows just how well this is helping me not only get my line good, but also match line and pace, which is really key when you want it to haul any puts kind of out of that short range. Overall, you can really see why these are so popular on tour. They've got that really small compact styling, really high end finish, and they look and perform like really high quality products. In fact, I've been so impressed with this. It's gone straight in my bag for this season. Right, that's all for today. If you have any questions about this putter or anything else in the pink range for this year, feel free to drop them in the comments below or send me a line on Twitter or Instagram. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications too. And if you're after more golf content, head over to the National Club Golfer social media channels for more.